Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank y'all so very much for joining me today in the crafting caravan. I appreciate y'all. I have quite a few new people, so <laughs> hello. Handshake. It's very nice to meet you all. Thank you so much. Um, so today is whatever we're calling it, <laughs> day six. Um, so, I really, I still don't have a name. I've been calling it the Ugly Christmas Blanket, and I keep hearing from everyone that it's not ugly, which is just adorable, so thank you guys. It's like our ugly sweater blanket. Um, anyway, so if you're new, hello. So what is happening? It's my beautiful, preciously wonderful friend, Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse, and myself are making fun, scrappy blankets. We have done, Angelia counted it up, and she is correct. This is, I believe, the third year that we've done this. Um, we've done three, three different, like, blanket or scrappy type surprise projects. We did a country gal, kitchen cow. She's a fun time. So, this time, she was doing this for Vlogmas. I wasn't planning on doing anything, and it just looked like so much fun. Just, you know, sitting on the sidelines and watching her be surprised by yarn and adding it to a blanket so I was like okay I'm gonna join in <laughs> that's cool with her and it was because she's awesome so anywho so I will link Angelia below if you've not checked her out I've had a couple of you said that you didn't know who she was so please check her out if you haven't she is sweet as pie so what happens is over on her channel her husband chooses the color of yarn and so it's a surprise to her surprise to whomever's watching and she adds it to her blanket and she's making really cool christmas tree granny squares and it's so pretty it's so pretty it's like this beautiful like vintage scrappy christmas thing and i just i mean blanket obviously but like this thing is in like this just it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to see it finished she's made one before with like the color you know christmas colors but this one just it just looks like a vintage happy christmas to me those are my favorite christmas trees are the ones with like homemade ornaments and ornaments that because my kiddos get an ornament every year for christmas so like the meaningful ornaments and the bright pretty rainbow colored lights and just fun all about you know the whole thing and just color everywhere I feel like it's not just red green and white and so her blanket is beautiful so please go check it out I cannot wait to see I mean I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out because this is gonna be a fun month but at the same time man it's looking so cool I'm it's seriously just like a vintage like 1950s 60s type Christmas vibe and it's so good so, <clears throat> all right, so please check out my precious friend. I love her so much. She's amazing. So, all right, that was fun. We just had a yarn avalanche. <laughs> Straight up yarn avalanche behind me. That was fun. I was, yeah, um, I need to clean the crochet caravan is what that or the crafting caravan is what that means anyway <laughs> yarn is what it is so anyway here what we are doing is there are five of us but just four of them are choosing colors so my hubby and the three kiddos are all choosing a color and then they're picking a fun activity for everyone to do for that night we're keeping it real simple real fun what I'm talking about so as I mentioned we we're making a ugly sweater blanket so you know, like your ugly Christmas sweaters it's a whole thing right why not make a blanket out of that same sort of thing so the original idea was for them to come out here and just pick a yarn it didn't matter what whatever what weight what ever they want but something that they thought was like ugly or uncute or whatever and they're like yeah you you don't have ugly yarn <laughs> so you know we're just we're winging it at this point and so 
yeah, but it's really funny. Like, Sigs, everyone's like, it's not ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> anywho. All right. So, this is what I have so far. Yesterday was Bee's day, and this is what she chose, was the um, Premier Just Cotton in the red and green marl. Derek picked this one the day before, and I did this as like a divider, so it's very Christmassy right here at the first. So this is what we have so far. <laughs> Could be a hat. Look in there. Anyway, so this is what I have so far for our Christmas blanket. And it's pretty Christmassy, I have to say. So today is Finn's day. Let's see what he chose. Okay. Here's our bag. I'll put this right here because it has our devotional in it. Okay, I'll let y'all see first. Maybe. Is it gonna be good? Are you excited? Woo! Okay. So he chose Premier Bloom Chunky. That's fun. In the color Snapdragon. This is one that was on the Hobby Lobby clearance. 99 cents, not a work. <laughs> so there's like blues and hot pink and kind of a lime green. And then these, the fly came from. It's like 50 some degrees. It snowed. I was going to put this on my, it's like a post yesterday. Last night it was 56 degrees and it was snowing. What does that, I, what? And then just like that, it's 50 some degrees and it's raining and there's a fly. I don't know. It snowed yesterday. 56 degrees, 54 degrees. Anywho. But yeah, like this part is kind of an off-white but this is like a really pale yellow you can't really you can kind of tell but anyway <laughs> okay. so that's what we're adding so these have been four weights and cottons which is a four weight this is a five bulky still going to use my 5.5 .5 hook just because even though this suggests you use an eight millimeter hook but i too like to live dangerously so we're going to live on the edge very aerosmith about it do it anyway. So that's what it's going to look like. Oh, I'm so excited about this blanket. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. So yeah, um, I'm doing four rows of each. And so I think it'll be a decent size after I'm hoping to like, add a border and stuff. No, I haven't been sewing my ends in. That would be silly because it would make sense to sew the ends in. So I didn't have a lot to do all at once. So no, I haven't been doing that. My goodness. Anyway, so that's what I'm adding. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to go do that here in just a second. I've already watched Angelia's video for today. I put up crochet until earlier, so I'm kind of late on this one. But yes, yeah, so that's going to be good. Speaking of, again, beautiful Angelia. She's also making a corner to corner blanket, which I think is amazing. So she's doing her super cool uh, Christmas tree. And also she's doing that thing. <laughs> Do like my SNL Stefan voice. She's doing that thing where you have a bag full of yarn scraps and you just dig in and grab one and then you add it to a blanket. It's called A Really Fun Time. So there's my Stefan. But it's so good. Her blanket is looking so good. And so it's funny because I'm doing this corner to corner, but also in the house, that's my just brain break project like I said we've mentioned for I mentioned for school that's what we have we'll be right in the middle of something it's like okay brain break like stop what you're doing we're gonna do something fun so aside from succulents <laughs> that I've been making for my sister-in-law uh craft fair things Christmas things that's been my brain break is just reaching into scrap balls and adding it to a corner to corner so it's you know that thing where you reach in and get scrap balls so that's what I've been doing so I think it's really cool that Angelie is doing that too great minds am I right so all right one more time this is it <laughs> it's gonna be so good I'm so excited about this like things that would normally never ever go together or never make sense that are just gonna be so good so yeah still rocking the 5.5 hook we'll see how it goes so hopefully I have enough for four rows I think that's a full skein, but I'm not really sure. I don't feel like it. So, we'll see. All right. So, 
on to our devotional. Today is the 6th. I know this because it's my best friend's birthday. Hers is just slightly before my birthday and that's pretty cool. Alright, December 6th. When I walked the earth, I walked with humility to show you how to walk with the radiance of simplicity. Today, welcome the rich rewards in honoring the path of humility. The wealthy soul prospers without the grief. The wealthy soul prospers without the grief of self-promotion or efforts for personal gain. My desire for you to know the profound experience, sorry. My desire is for you to know the profound experience of love without walls. How good is that? Ooh. That that is good. I know I didn't do a great job reading that, but that's a good let's just one more time. One more time. When I walked the earth, I walked with humility to show you how to walk with the radiance of simplicity. Today, welcome the rich rewards in honoring the path of humility. The wealthy soul prospers without the grief of self-promotion or efforts for personal gain. My desire is for you to know the profound experience of love without walls. That's a good one. All right, our scripture. Matthew twenty-three twelve. Remember this, if you have a lofty opinion of yourself and seek to be honored, you will be humbled. But if you have a modest opinion of yourself and choose to humble yourself, you will be honored. That's a good, I got goosebumps. That's a good one. I love this devotional. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas got this for me last year when I was going through my treatments and when I really needed it. And um, may I suggest if you're needing a new devotional, it's almost a new year. This is a good one. So, all right. <clears throat> There's our devotional. Tis our blanket. I'm going to go add this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't tell you about his activity. That's probably a thing. That's probably a thing. All right. So like I said, each of them has an activity. For Finn's activity, you guys, a child after my own heart, which makes sense, I guess, because he's mine. But he wants to make miniatures. I know. Make miniatures or a diorama, he says. Or something for the Christmas village. I don't know about you all. To me, it sounds like a gnome home. <laughs> so yes, make miniatures or a diorama or something for the Christmas village. He's all about making miniatures when we go to Hobby Lobby. That's his favorite aisle, which I'm just like, yes, because aside from yarn, that's my favorite aisle too. And like the jewelry stuff, jewelry obviously, but like the miniatures, it's so good. So. I'm excited to do that. So we're gonna go do that. Do that. I'm gonna add that. Make something miniature. I don't know. Mm hmm. Some sort of gnome home, but I'm not sure what kind. We shall see. All right. Maybe not a gnome home. Heck, I don't know. All right. So please check out my beautiful Angelia and her super cool blanket. I I'm telling you, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Chef's kiss. It's so good. So, all right. So thank you all so very, very, very much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. I will talk to you soon. Again, try as you might. Sometimes maybe it's not worth it. Stuff gets too fun and you just don't do it. But, you know, attempt as much as you can. Stay off the naughty list.